but startled. Doesn't even really look at him. She just kind of looks around like, uh-huh. what? Huh? <laughs> what? And then he jumps down off the tracks. He picks her up, pulls her down on the tracks himself because, of course, she's helpless. He walks <laughs> to no screen right to where he saw the New York the as a sign, summer festival, yeah. right? And then he looks around as if he's trying to find, like, an exit or something else. That's when he reacts to, like, that something hum. coming from screen left. So uh-huh. before we get to the hum, yeah, I have got? to say, because you fawned over him earlier, I don't know that she's looked hotter <laughs> than in the moment, moment when lighting. he helps her down. Oh, my God. She is a lovely woman. Well, and that and that's part of the whole kind of help down the lighting, all that kind of it stuff. Is. Yeah, when she when he got her down, and and first off, she has a moment right in what you're showing us here, Richard, where she kind of t- and it may be when he says, "Do you hear the hum?" and she looks back. You just look at her, and I, I'm not saying that she didn't have the chops to be a great actress, but you look at her face, and she the camera just loves her. She's yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, agreed. Ooh, golly, I I could not let the. The you man and me let it go and go. Whoa. All right, she's so, beautiful. So if you were, if you were, um, he'd been down on the tracks at this location before with by himself, dusting off the yeah, summer as right. a summer as a New York festival, whatever. And he didn't hear it before. So Where'd the hum come why from? is it happening now? Well, first off, I want to ask Sean, and I had this note, what do you think the hum is? Since you're our I, newbie, Sean's never seen these films. He's literally watching them one minute at a time. I literally have no idea. The only note I had about that was, I don't know what happens in the future minutes, but if there was no hum and they went the other way, what kind of movie would it be? Because hmm. I don't know what happens after this. If Who the knows? hum did I mean, not attract don't. him, what would this movie be? Boy, that's a that's a question that, that we have to answer at the end of the you movie. You can pose just about to any movie if they did this, what, what that, but yeah. that, but that is true. What would this film be? But I mean, you know, all you know, all movies are coincidence because you write it that right. way. So, so obviously they hear hum, they go, they ran into a cave. If they had not run into this cave, what would the movie be? If he hadn't, you know, ridden the horses into a stupid mountain, what would this movie be? But which which I completely digress to say that if they hadn't made. Jurassic World, the new one. Uh huh. No one would care. Yeah. I saw it last night. It's, it's that bad. Oh, uh, I read Letter Media. I mean, oh. it's. it's I, I agreed with him oh. when watching. It's two different movies pasted together. Yes. Have you I, seen it? Yes. I looked at my wife, and my wife loves anything like Jurassic that. World is two different movies pasted together. It, it yeah. literally does not. Nothing about it fits and works. Why was it two different movies? Were there two different writers or directors? Or no, something? no. It's literally half the movie is let's get dinosaurs off this. This mountain that, or the, off the island that's going to blow up, and then the other half is a high stakes. We're selling dinosaurs and uh, trying to escape from dinosaurs. And movie. you can make movies like that that are two different films. It but just it's has like a little cut almost. It has it. no transition to where it makes sense. And there's this. They they try to tra- transition it to mm-hmm. where how they get off the island. But it's the messiest thing that I've ever seen, and, and the coincidence that they don't get found, it's just, oh. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. When I hear a hum, I usually, my film knowledge tells me to run from the hum. However, what I wonder is that he's trying to find anything that is Dude. of comfort. Does that mean life to him? Does that mean something? Is that a generator? What is it that uh, he thinks he's going to find? I don't know. So, you know, in this film, I was excited when... um they first ventured down into this, and I have to admit, this minute ends on what to me is probably like what could be a potentially when they're walking exciting down the reveal. Cave, the, I agree. He pulls the, them the over tracks, to, to, to screen left, and all of a sudden, we get a shot of them from behind as he kind of pulls Nova down the train tracks to whatever this hum is. And I was like, I want, what's happening? I want to go now? there. What is happening? Right. I want to know what that is. You actually see the tunnel. You see everything. It it, it looks. It's yeah. an environment we understand, but it looks foreign because of all the. Dilapidation from the the nuclear blast, but it, it but it is just, it is just it is just uh, yes. If okay, so if I were in a tunnel and it was planet Earth in the future, and I was just running from talking apes, and I heard a hum, uh, yeah. I would probably not go, go away from it. it. I would probably go towards it because I would want to know if something. Was there? Oh, that's a if good point. If Taylor was there, if somebody was there, if something familiar is there that could help me or assist me. Now I know they just they just did the the voiceover of the army coming their way, so he may think that he's walking into danger. 
but I would still want to know. I would still go that direction. But could he acknowledge that? Couldn't it be, I have no idea what that hum is. This could be bad. He could do almost a Han Solo approach. This could be bad. You know, that kind of thing. I know I'm running into danger. I got a bad we gotta go. about this. Yeah, we, he could run in. Instead, it just, he arbitrarily kind of goes, do you know what it is? Nope, let's go. And, but I, this again, this film, I think, had so much potential to be very cool, to really kind of explode to an extent the, the, the Planet of the Apes and what, what else was happening. And it's just sort of, you know. No, I'm excited. I'm, we're, we're, I'm glad you're excited. We're, we're you're ending this Friday with this minute. Need... I'm like, oh, let's go to the home. Want, and the only thing I wonder is, and we've talked about this in the previous movie with the the green area where we think that's uh, yep. safety. Um, we see a almost bad matte shot of them going into the the tunnel where you can tell where the tunnel actually ends and the matte painting yeah. is. Right. And I wonder how film literate people were back when this came out to go. Oh, Not that very. looks like kind of crappy. Or they went, "Wow, he's going into a tunnel." But well, then again, when when in Star Wars, when they rescued the princess from the detention block, if you look at the end of it, that's a forced perspective painting yeah. at the end to make it look like that tunnel goes but on that, forever. That one looks good. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, I, we when I watched the original Return of the Jedi, and we had kind of the Stan Winston movement movements of the the, the rancor and everything. Yeah, well, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. For, at the no. All oh, right, sorry. The the, the 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 rancor or even the um uh, what are they called? Uh, Ewoks. Not the Ewoks. Give us a hint. The Tauntauns and Empire Strikes no, Back. No, the, the two legged um, Princess Leia. The the two legged Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. The, Crumb. The, the two legged vehicles. Jabba the Hutt. Oh, the Adats. The ATSTs. But not the ATSTs. The the two legged ones. The ATSTs. The, walker. ATSTs. the chicken oh, walkers. Okay. The chicken walkers. The chicken walkers. Okay, yeah. Th- those were those, those were so bad, but by today's standards. But back then. I thought they were seamless. Yeah, no. they were cool. So I'm not sure that audiences would have necessarily picked up on some of these trickeries that we're talking about now. I don't think they. I don't think they cared as much. I don't right, think that right. now we almost things. now we're all we want we're so some educated. Sort of realism. You know, I even found myself watching when I was watching Jurassic Park, Dr- trying Dr- to find things where I was like, eh. oh, first yeah. Jurassic Park. I believed every single one of the designers. I watch it. And I'm like, no. Nah, when yeah, I'm watching Infinity War, right. I can tell when Chris Evans has a fake beard on, and it just th- that part throws me out. He has a fake beard. Oh, he has. There's scenes when he's fighting Wakanda. He has a fake beard on. Okay, but see, that was also goes into Justice League. All the people about the mustache that didn't bother me at all. I couldn't care less. Oh, the the the, bad mouth. Yeah, I I looked at that. I was like, I don't care. It's Superman. I don't care. I didn't like the movie to begin with. They actually apparently did tests where they said we can actually make a mustache look better than a bad mouth. So please shave your mustache and let us pay for you to have. A CG mustache in your movie instead of having really mustache in our movie and having to take it out. And he said no. I guess it was in the contract. Yeah, the studio said no. Yeah, he said no. Hmm. Wow. So I, I don't know. I I I wonder in the non geek culture if a lot of people worry about how, those. How not critical? My wife are. is not critical. She now every once in a while she'll say something that looks bad, but when we watch things, she doesn't pay attention to that. So I think that a lot of us. Notice these things. We're watching these things in a minute at a time. I mean, we're There's paying attention to these small details too. Right? Yeah, we're, looking at we're that trying stuff. to we're pick it apart. Yeah, we're, there we're, is no gloss of time because we're we're basically condensing time down. I, to I, I didn't bring up when we, we saw the guerrilla soldiers in the protest scenes. Quite a few of them just had little pieces of cut wood that were supposed to be rifles. Oh, did they? Really? I didn't even notice that. Oh shit! Now I got to go back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, they're that. just carrying rifles, and you're like, oh, that's just a piece of cut wood that's been stained. Like there was no, Son there was nothing bitch. on it that made it look like there was no metal, no trigger, no nothing. It was just Some a bitch. piece of cut wood. Go, go, go back now. Damn it, Richard! Now I don't get to go ahead. I got to go back because of you. But, bud, we're talking about the details. <laughs> Those are the details yeah. that if you're just watching it to watch it to enjoy it, you wouldn't have noticed. You wouldn't have looked with the scrutiny that we are looking at these. At and I think that time. is one thing that I, I constantly feel the need to almost apologize to anyone listening because I love these movies, but now I find that. When you watch them in a minute at a time, fall you, apart. you cannot help but go, this is stupid and this doesn't work. We're looking for the little gaffes. We're looking for the little unusuals, the change of the bandage. The things that could have been better. The be things later on. She's, right. The dog tags are now on her hand. Well, they were on her wrist earlier. You know, the little things that you just wouldn't have noticed otherwise. And that's why I can't wait to get to Escape because I think it's such a better film and I want to see it a minute at a time if it holds up. I can't well wait to see the new ones. I can't either. Oh. We'll get there. We'll get there. <sighs> uh, a couple of years from now. <laughs> No. I know. <laughs> All right, Friday in the books. That's look. That says That's we're about twenty two minutes in. That was longer than I thought it would we're be. Doing pretty good. Yeah. Either you guys got anything? That's it. You for know me. what we haven't plugged in a while? 
What? Star Wars? Why don't you tell everybody where we are, Richard? Uh, oh, we are at Zeus Comics and Collectibles in the heart of uh, uh, Oak Lawn and in, in, uh, near downtown Dallas. And uh, it is a comic book store, and you can find us online at ZeusComics.com, and we record down here uh, most of the podcasts. 60 to 70% of the yeah. time we're down mm-hmm. here. Exactly. Sean and I both buy our comics here. Yeah. We're customers. Richard and I live two streets over from each other. Yeah. I watch out for his dogs. He yeah, you watch my dogs. I, I don't live awesome. anywhere near Richard, but Richard, I still like Richard. <laughs> if if you think about Texas and Oklahoma, like go sh- just shy oh, of Oklahoma, God. and that's where Ty lives. So here's the here's the wonderful thing <laughs> we about at least people. Two rest areas before we get up there. <laughs> here's the lovely thing about people that live in Dallas. They don't understand that major metropolitan areas actually stretch way beyond. And so there's an area called <laughs> 635 in Dallas. And everyone's like, oh, I don't go beyond 635. Mm. I'm like, it's... Well, yeah, it's kind of gross when we're at 635. Oh, whatever. There's so much good stuff. If you went to Manhattan, do you live within about a two-mile stretch? No, you bet. Well, actually, the well, whole yeah, island. Yeah, why would yeah. you go anywhere else? Would you live within about three <laughs> blocks? No, you do the whole thing and yeah, whatever. But Zeus Comics, back to Richard's yeah. lovely store, is Zeus a Comics. great store. Slash checklist. You can go <laughs> on. You can find checklist. whatever you want. If if people order it online, will you get it to them? Yeah, yeah I ship, ship it myself. Yeah. He ship. Do you ship stuff off yeah. them? Yeah. He ships online. There you go. Richard will be your comics I, guy. I'm, yes, I'm your He'll shipper. He'll be your uh, supplier. All right. So we will be back next week with more episodes of Men of the Apes as we Ooh. trudge through. But we he, get to the hum. We are actually. Let's I, go to the hum. I am actually pretty excited because we're getting to at we're getting least to the last half hour. We're at same, least yeah. getting to the new stuff. All right, yeah. we're, this, uh, no more regurgitation. I'm not going to say that. I no. didn't, without watching these minutes, no. time, I'm not going to say there's not regurgitation. However, there is new information. Yes, that we're going to get to. That Sean does not know about. And I just I think back to when you watched the trailer at the end of Planet of the Apes when we wrapped up that one, and you had some reactions. In fact, a couple of people reacted on Twitter, loving your reaction. Okay. So I think we're all kind of riveted to see what you do when you get the news. All right. Yes. We'll find out in a couple yes. of weeks. I, I would say within the next week we mm-hmm. may touch on yeah. some of that. Okay. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. We will see you on Monday. For Richard and Sean, I'm Todd. Bye. Salute. Bye, everybody. Beneath the minute of the apes. Beneath the minute of the apes. Beneath the minute of the apes. The only good human is a dead human. <laughs> <laughs>